Time now for the ridiculous, and tonight we're adding Gerard Depardieu, noted French actor, Academy Award nominee, public urinator. That's right, I said urinator. Last night on a flight from Paris to Dublin, Depardieu reportedly peed on the floor. Apparently the plane was on the tarmac, and the flight attendant told him he'd have to wait to use the bathroom until takeoff. So Depardieu created his own little jet stream, or as the French would say, oui oui. When I first heard the story this morning, I thought there was no way it was real. But the airline CityJet confirmed it beyond any shadow of skepticism. And by that, I mean they vaguely tweeted about it. Quote, as you may have seen on the news, we are busy mopping the floor of one of our planes this morning. We'd also like to remind all passengers that our planes are fully equipped with toilet facilities. Hmm, CityJet. I would have guessed he flies incontinental. Incontinental. Anyway, while the airline was busy putting the pee back in PR, some of the passengers just couldn't hold it anymore and started spilling their versions of the incident to the press. Can you blame them? They saw an actual thespian actually thespian. This, this, oh, it's full of puns. This probably won't come as a shock, but several passengers say Depardieu was, you guessed it, visibly drunk. But I think there's another explanation. See, as a celebrity, he's not accustomed to being told he can't do things he wants to do when he wants to do them. Things like going to the bathroom. No, he's probably used to being, you know, pampered. Uh, I'd go as far as to say he depends on it. We'll put a graphic in case you didn't get the reference. Depends on it. But it's kind of sad when you think about it. This guy has been in hundreds of movies. Will he be remembered for Cyrano de Bergerac? Probably not. Will he be remembered for Green Card? Mm, nope. This, in is, this incident is likely to go down as his number one role. Although there is a bright side. <laughs> we stop laughing, it's distracting. <laughs> now that we know he doesn't have any stage fright when it comes to public urination, maybe he can get together with his fellow castmates from La Vienna Rose and they can all have a pissing contest. You know, like a, a pee-off. Pee-off, because the movie was about you know, pee-off. I said pee-off. So after Gerard took his little solo flight to urination, the plane had to turn around and go back to the gate, and some unlucky cleaning crew had to deal with the Golden Globe winning tinkle. Now, all I can say is they should thank their lucky stars it wasn't Depard too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that made me giggle every time I read it. He hasn't commented on this incident. <laughs> Depard too. I know you got it, but. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> sorry, this has actually never happened to me. <laughs> Always see this sort of thing on YouTube, and you don't think. <laughs> All right. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> he hasn't commented on the incident, but if I know the European celebrity spin machine, and I think I do, there will probably be some excuse, like he was doing research for a movie role. As we speak, I bet somewhere in Paris, a screenwriter is furiously typing out a period piece about the potty training misadventures of an overgrown, drunk French two-year-old. His entourage reportedly says that he wasn't drunk and he just tried to discreetly pee in a bottle, but I'm not sure that version holds water. In any case, Gerard, chin up. Yes, this incident was in all the papers, but it's nothing but yellow journalism, and soon it will be flushed from our memories. So just go with the flow on the ridiculous.